Hey guys, welcome back and finally we got the open beta 4 update for OnePlus 5T and with this update the Android base has also been updated to 8.1. Before moving further, make sure to hit the subscribe button so as to not miss any upcoming videos and also the bell icon for instant notifications on new uploads. The update size is 1.67 GB, my bootloader is unlocked so I'm not really sure if this will be the same size for devices with locked bootloaders. Coming to the change log, we have couple of changes in the form of new gaming mode, new and updated gestures, February security patch and application backup option with OnePlus Switch. So you can either download the update via OTA or you can download the ROM file and install it. The download link for the complete full ROM is in the description below. After downloading the ROM file, transfer it to the phone, go to settings, system updates from system, click on the gear icon at the top right corner, select local upgrade and pick the transfer zip file and install it. The installation process is pretty fast and I think it took about 3 to 5 minutes for it. So the update has been installed, there is no change in boot animation, the lock screen also looks same and so is the launcher. There are few empty spaces here in the quick settings and also in the settings panel at the top. UI wise it's almost same as previous open beta 3. Let's go to the about phone and check the build date. The build date is March 10th with February security patch and the OS version is Android 8.1.0. Nothing changed regarding wireless and network, same options and features and yeah you can see the battery percentage of the connected bluetooth devices with 8.1. Under buttons and gestures you have a new option called navigation bar and gesture. There are three options you can have a fixed navigation bar or you can opt for hiding the navigation bar and also the navigation gestures instead of navigation bar. Let's pick the navigation gestures option and as you can see you have swipe up from bottom center edge of the screen to get to the home page, swipe up from bottom center edge of the screen and pause for recent apps, swipe up from left or right side of the bottom of the screen to go back and even when you are using the phone in the landscape mode the navigation gestures position remains the same. Let's check if everything is working fine. Swipe up for home screen, swipe up and pause for recent apps swipe up from left for back and everything is working great. I think the gestures are more responsive now compared to the previous OS version. Under gestures menu you have usual swipe fingerprint for notifications, long press fingerprint sensor to take the photo and you have a new gesture for answering calls. Now you can answer your call by raising the phone to the ear. The action is based on proximity sensor and it is working perfectly. Under display settings you have an option called ambient display where you can change the clock style. There are 4 options to pick for the clock styles and also you can set a display message, enable or disable wake screen for new notifications. You have the same sound settings, battery, storage and yeah you can clear the app cache. You can find the new gaming do not disturb mode under advanced menu. Here you can opt for answering through the speaker while gaming, block notifications and there is also a gaming battery saver which can limit resolution and FPS for games and also disable auto brightness. Next you have OnePlus switch. Now you can take the backup of all the system and user apps including the app data which is really good if you do not want to root your phone and finally the position of the bluetooth audio codec has been moved back to the advanced menu from the developer options. Regarding benchmarks, Antutu version 7 score is 2,7675, single core score of 1977, multi core score of 6731 with Geekbench 4 and 60.2 frames per second with Nina Mark 2. So that's about it guys, hit like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in the next video.